Inside a resting muscle fiber, the binding sites on actin are blocked by a protein called tropomyosin. Tropomyosin is held in place by troponin. When an action potential travels down the sarcolemma and into the T-tubules, it triggers the sarcoplasmic reticulum to release calcium ions into the sarcoplasm. Calcium binds to troponin, which shifts tropomyosin away and exposes the myosin binding sites on actin. Once these binding sites are exposed, the contraction cycle begins. Myosin heads are the workers of contraction. Each myosin head has an ATP binding site that functions as an ATPase. An ATPase is an enzyme that hydrolyzes ATP into ADP and a phosphate group. When ATP is hydrolyzed into ADP and inorganic phosphate, the myosin head is energized and ready to bind to the myosin binding site on actin. With actin's binding sites now exposed, the myosin head attaches to actin. This is called a crossbridge. Once the crossbridge forms, the inorganic phosphate is released from the myosin and the myosin head pivots pulling the thin filament towards the M line. This is the power stroke. ADP is then released from the myosin head, completing the stroke. In order to reset for another power stroke, a new ATP molecule must bind to the myosin head. This binding causes the cross bridge to detach. The myosin head is released from actin. When ATP is present, it's hydrolyzed again re-energizing the myosin head and resetting it for another cycle. This sequence, attach, pull, release, reset, repeats as long as calcium and ATP are available.